Some people have been complaining that their prayers have not been getting answered. Africans. Neanderthals, please exit the live. I'm about to have a private black family conversation. All Neanderthals, please exit the live. Brown people, yellow people, red people, white people, please exit the live. I'm talking to the original man and woman of Africa right now. No disrespect to the other human families, the hybrids, but I'm talking to the original man and woman right now. I'm talking to the original man and woman right now. There's Africans who are complaining that their prayers are not getting answered. I'm going to give you three reasons why your prayers are not getting answered. Are you ready for the three reasons, my brothers and sisters? Podcast, interview, lecture, appearance, consultation, life coaching, 215-989-9858. The reason your prayers have not been getting answered, African people, three reasons in no particular order. Number one. Many of us have been indoctrinated since childhood with a white image of supreme consciousness. If your third eye can only see a white image of supreme consciousness, I want you to understand, overstand, and understand me. This is Prophet Ifatunde. If your third eye can only generate a white image of the almighty if your third eye can only generate a white image of god if your third eye can only generate a white image of the supreme consciousness supreme consciousness cannot respond to you because you are invoking a demon you are invoking a demon you are i'm gonna say it again Imagination matters in spirituality. Imagination matters in spirituality. Imagine if your third eye is generating a white image, a Caucasian image of the Almighty, the Almighty cannot respond because the Almighty is not a Caucasian. You are invoking a devil. And because you are invoking a demon, and since the Almighty can never be in the same space with negativity, the Almighty cannot respond because you're not praying to the Almighty. You are praying to your oppressor. That's a big reason why your prayers do not get answered. You do not have a black image of the almighty. Many of you do not have a black image of the almighty. You have a Caucasian image of the almighty. You have a Caucasian image of the almighty. That's a reason why your prayers are not getting answered. You have to meditate on a black image of supreme consciousness. I don't care if you personify the universe itself as God because the universe is black. But you better have a black image of the almighty because melanin can only be activated. Your melanin can only be activated spiritually with a black image. You can't activate black melanin with white Christ. You can't activate black melanin with white Christ. You can't activate. I want to finish the conversation that I began on the last live. Okay. There's a lot of uh, artificial feminine energy on my feed today. We have pale artificial female energy on the chat. Reason why some Africa's prayers are not answered. Number one, we have a European concept or image of God. God does not respond to lies. God does not respond to untruth. So if you're praying, but your God concept and your God image is anti-African, the black God of Africa will not respond. You better change the images in your mind, your third eye. What does your third eye see when you think of God? What does your third eye see when you think of God? What does your third eye see when you think of God? That's one problem. Second reason why you don't get your prayers answered. Your ancestors play a big role in carrying your prayers to the divine. I'm going to say this again. 
I'm going to say this again. Your ancestors play a role in carrying your prayers to the divine. So if your ancestors play a role in carrying your prayers to the divine, and you don't communicate with your ancestors, you don't honor your ancestors, you don't pour libation to your ancestors, you don't meditate with your ancestors, and your ancestors help to carry your prayers to the divine, you have an ancestral blockage. Many of you Negroes have an ancestral blockage. I don't care if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Christian. I don't care if you're Hebrew. I don't care if you're uh, Seventh-day Adventist. I don't care if you're Episcopalian, Methodist, Jehovah Witness. Many of you have an ancestral blockage. You do not honor. You do not acknowledge. You do not respect your ancestors. And therefore, many of your prayers are not carried to the Most High. And many of your prayers are are not circumvented by the ancestors and handled directly by them. Let me say that again. When you offer prayer, when you offer prayer, when you offer prayer, sometimes the Most High will allow the ancestors to intercept a prayer because it's something within the domain of the ancestors to handle. But if you don't call on the ancestors, if you don't recognize them, if great grandmom has not heard her name come out your mouth, if great grandpop have not heard his name come out your mouth, if great auntie, if mom and dad and grandpop and great cousin, they have not heard their name come out of your mouth since they died. They have not heard their name come out of your mouth since you were born. If they, if God gives them the ability to snatch one of your prayers and respond to it, I said, if God gives your ancestors the ability to snatch one of your prayers and answer it, you will miss out on the blessing because you belong to a religion that has forced you to turn your back on your ancestral guides. You belong to a religion that has forced you to turn your back on your ancestral guides. You belong to a religion that has forced you to turn your back on your ancestral guides. That's why a lot of you will never get your prayers answered. Third reason why you don't get your prayers answered. Third reason why you don't get your prayers answered. You have a blueprint, a roadmap, a divine purpose and agenda for being on this earth. It was given to you by the Almighty. You left from heaven and came to earth with your blueprint, your roadmap, your purpose. If you are praying for something that is outside of your blueprint, if you are praying for something that will sabotage your earthly mission, if you are asking for something that you're not ready for, or if you are begging for something that would only sabotage your path and your walk, you will not get it. I don't care how much you pray. Your prayers must be congruent with your purpose on earth. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this again. You've been praying for a million dollars. But your purpose on earth has nothing to do with you being a millionaire. You're praying for a chance to go to the NFL. But your purpose on earth has nothing to do with you going to the NFL. You are praying for a snow bunny wife to sweep you up off your feet. But if your purpose on earth has nothing to do with you selling out to a snow bunny, she's not coming. Your prayers must be congruent with your purpose. Your prayers must be congruent with your mission. Happy Black History Month, my Africans. Happy Black History Month, my Africans. Another reason why your prayers don't get answered. You are too selfish, too arrogant, and too egotistical in your request. I'm going to say it again. How many times has somebody asked you for something and they did it in the most nastiest, impatient, disrespectful, arrogant, and egotistical way possible? 
How many times have people asked you for something in the nastiest, most disrespectful, arrogant, and egotistical way possible? If you come to God with ego, arrogance, and anger, if you come to the Almighty with a petition based on ego, arrogance, and anger, if you come to the Almighty with a petition based on ego, arrogance, and anger, God will not answer that. Who are you to approach the I am that I am with that type of energy? Who are you to approach the most high God with that type of energy? Who are you to come before the throne of the owner of the source of all that there is with arrogance, ego, impatience, and anger? God will not answer you. God will not answer you. Another reason why you don't get your prayers answered. Another reason why you don't get your prayers answered. Is this is not the right time. It might be coming, but your timing is off. Timing is everything. With you, with me, with the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, it's all about the timing. You may be asking for something that you're not ready for. You might be five years too early, 10 years too early. If God gives it to you now, you might sabotage it. Patience with divine timing. Patience with divine timing. Patience with divine timing. Another reason why you don't get what you ask for. Another reason you don't get what you ask for is you have not fulfilled the prerequisites to have that. A black man says, God, send me the greatest wife I could ever ask for. A black man says, God, send me the greatest wife I could ever ask for. A black man says, God, send me the greatest wife I could ever ask for. But you're not ready for her. You still out here. Sean goes sticking. Every honeycomb hideout you can find. You still out here, Sean go sticking. Every honeycomb hideout you can find. You still out here glazing the Cinnabons. Talking about send me the greatest wife out here. How God going to send you the greatest wife when you still out here shining up Cinnabons? If you're not ready for it, it's not coming. If you're not patient for it, it won't arrive. If you don't need it, you won't see it. Let me say that again. Hashtag that, by the way. I want y'all to hashtag that. If you don't need it, you won't see it. Hashtag that. Asking for stuff you don't need. Asking for things that are incongruent with your purpose on earth. How you doing, Asia? How you doing, Sister Asia? Nicki Minaj is a beautiful queen, though. Shout out to the family. Much respect to her husband. Nicki Minaj is a beautiful queen. 40 years old, still look like that? Nicki Minaj is fine. She looked just as good as the rest of them. Nicki Minaj, I wish her and Megan stopped beefing. They both fine. They both fine. They fine. If you don't need it, you won't see it. If you don't need it, remember that, y'all. Why my prayers don't get... If you don't need it, if you don't need it, you won't see it. Cardi B, a fine sister, too. They all fine. Remy Ma, Remy Ma, fine. Much respect to all the husbands involved. Much respect to all the husbands involved. But if I... Had to choose from the four of those queens. Much respect to the husbands involved. Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, and Remy Ma. In terms of pure attract attractiveness and sexiness. I think Remy Ma is going to... Remy Ma and Nicki going to be tied for first. Cardi and Megan going to be tied for second. Remy and Nikki going to be tied for first. Cardi and Megan will be tied for second. 
on Dr. Umar's list. If I can only take one, I'm taking Remy Martin, hands down. Hands down, that woman is drop dead gorgeous. Remy, Nikki, Megan and Cardi, they'll be tied. We must stay focused, brothers. Much respect to the children, to the family. I don't know about all that. I'm just saying respect the family because I'm speaking on somebody's wife, so I want to be respectful to the husband. Canada, I will see you in June. Alaska, I will see you in June. Omaha, Nebraska, I will see you in June. We must pray and we must work. You must do both. Prayer without works is dead. Works without prayer will not yield result. You must do both. I work on the school. I pray for the school. I pray for black children. I work with parents to save their black children. I pray for our relationships in the black community and I help couples with their relationship in the black community. You have to pray Baltimore. I will be back soon. Baltimore. I will be back soon. We have to pray and we have to work. But if you have a European concept of the divine, your prayers can't be answered because they're based on lies. That is disrespectful to pray to the almighty with an image of your oppressor. Y'all raise your children with an image of the oppressor and then say color don't matter. If color don't matter, why was the image of your oppressor that of a Caucasian? Detroit come to Kalamazoo on February 20th. We got Flint, Michigan in the works too. I love crabs. I love lobster. I love mussels. I love shrimps. I need some seafood salad. You done got me hungry now. I need some seafood salad. Some fried fish with some tartar sauce and some ketchup. Some seafood salad. Better yet, run that mac and cheese and turkey with the greens. Turkey with the, with the, with the, with the turkey juice. The greens with the turkey juice. Run that. Run that. Oakland, California. Black Parent Boot Camp. Saturday. February the 17th, Oakland, California, Church of All Faiths, 2100 Fifth Avenue. I must have 20 parents registered or the boot camp will be canceled and your registration fee will be refunded. So go to DrUmarJohnson.com and register Sacramento, Antioch, Richmond, San Francisco, Oakland. Go to DrUmarJohnson.com and pay your $50. If I don't have at least 20 parents registered for the boot camp, the boot camp will be postponed and you will receive your money back immediately. So don't worry about that. I'm confident we will get 20. I know most of you want to come at the door. You can't pay at the door because we have to have enough paperwork, training packets, refreshments, lunch. We need to have all that ready for you guys. So you need to go to DrUmarJohnson.com. Portland, Oregon, you should come on down. Seattle, Washington, you should come on down. Los Angeles, you need to come on up. Las Vegas, you need to come on over to the Oakland Boot Camp. There's a lot of artificial feminine energy on my feed. If you need to fly for any upcoming events, you can text me 215-989-9858. Podcast interviews, consultations, life coaching, lecture scheduling, 215-989-9858. PGRNA, I will see you in Charleston. Location to be announced on Sunday. March the 31st, Florida A&M University Black Psychology Conference. I will see you March the 25th, which is my keynote, but I will be there for the whole conference, the whole week. First time in Tallahassee. New Orleans, March the 23rd is New Orleans. Baton Rouge is in the works. Kalamazoo, Michigan, February the 20th, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Who am I leaving out? Lower Marion, Pennsylvania, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Lower Marion, Pennsylvania, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Lower Marion, Pennsylvania, rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. I will be in Lower Marion speaking to the black parents of Lower Marion the last day of Black History Month. That's Thursday, 
February the 29th, Lower Marion, PA. March the 1st is Comedy and Consciousness Concert in Philadelphia. Dr. Umar will be hosting. Go to eventbrite.com and get your tickets for the March 1st Philadelphia Comedy Show featuring some of the top comedians in the country. Washington, D.C., April 6th, maybe. St. Louis, Missouri, April 10th, maybe. Huntsville, Alabama, April 13th, maybe. Republic of South Africa, Black Male Conference, April 25th through the 30th. Where my South Africans at? Where my Praetorian Africans at? Where my Soweto Africans at? Where my Johannesburg Africans at? Where my Durban Africans at? Where my Cape Town Africans at? Where my Kyalisha Africans at? Where my Zulu Africans, my Kosa Africans, my Swazi Africans, my Khoi Africans? I will be in South Africa for the Black Male Conference, April the 25th through the 30th. Azania Stand Up, 